Hello, great people. Welcome back to Global Half Things today. We are so excited to have you again. The issue of oil bunkering, or let me call it oil theft, is getting very, very interesting. Don't forget, Nigeria is broke right now. How the budget for 2023 will be taken care of is not as certain. We heard that the government was resorting to selling off some fixed assets. But uh, right now, based on the security on ground who are fighting against oil bunkering and also oil theft a lot has been happening fairly recently now some weeks ago we heard that more than 16 um, tapping points by crude oil bunkers on the nation's oil pipeline were discovered in different states in nigeria and right now more has been uncovered and it's getting really interesting because him Tumpulun, is facing a lot of trade you're going to see some videos of uh, what had happened thus far but first of all let's give you full details of the letters when it comes to the fight against oil theft in nigeria now according to the news ex-militant Tumpulu and security officials have uncovered 42 more tapping points by crude oil bunkers on the nation's oil pipeline in two states of delta and Bielsa, bringing the total to 58 yesterday the breakthrough came as bunkers angry with the leader of the defunct movement for the emancipation of the niger delta men for exposing their unlawful businesses in the past few weeks have reportedly sent trade messages to him and the operatives of his security firm Tangtita security services limited tssl hmm. tssl last tossed the seas a, vase, a vessel suspected to belong to an oil syndicate which came to load crude oil from an undisclosed location in Delta State. However, Tompolo, who spoke to reporters yesterday at Ogboroza, the traditional headquarters of Baramantu Kingdom, worries southwest local government area Delta State, dismissed the threat by the oil bunkers. Hmm. At the end, the chief of defense staff, General Loki Irabo, and the group managing director of Nigeria National Petroleum Corporation Limited (NNPCL) Mele Kiari visited Delta State last Friday. Tantila reported the discovery of 16 tapping points on the Trans Focados pipeline, which NNPCL had clamped. Tompolo said, as of today, Sunday, we have discovered over 58 tapping points that oil bunkers have used in stealing crude oil from the nation's pipeline in Delta and Bielsa State. In Delta, three major crude pipelines, including the Trans Escravos and Trans Ramos lines, have been tapped by oil bunkers. The tapping points that were traced on Friday were with the help of the security agencies, which was why inside the rain and everything we could trace the lines. We are doing the work together with the security agencies. We are only providing intelligence for the security to assist to do the work. Therefore, everybody in NPCL and security agencies are working together in a very good spirit. The military have helped us to discover and stop the people from doing illegal activities, so we are going to work together and we do not want to go into details. The stealing had been going on for over eight to nine years, he said. On the trade message to his boys, he said, as for trade messages, that is normal. Even this morning, they send messages to me. But I think it is something we can handle. The ex-militant leader, who sounded optimistic that they would soon curtail illegal oil bunkering, said, with the way we are going now, we are getting cooperation from all the security agencies, both the ones in the state here and at the top. Therefore, by the grace of God, in no distant time, we will stop this lastly. He said his company is not facing any major challenge, adding, at a, adding that at every point in time, we will always provide intelligence and security people will come and do the work. On the barricading of creek by oil bunkers with trees, he said, that is the more reason we are involved. If we see any creek that is blocked with trees, we will bring in motor saw to cut it and we go inside. 
where the security people cannot even go we will first go there and ask them to follow because we cannot do anything without the security people in addition the following sorry he said in addition with the way all of them are actually cooperating we will achieve the desired result communities are now posing a problem it is the bunkers that offer resistance but even at that like what i said before this is our area we are doing everything to ensure that we reduce oil bunkering to the barest minimum because the aquatic life in our area is almost gone as for the crude oil that we recover from the creeks we are trying to get a bash where we will pump in the product along the way if anything we will not follow that because the terrain is bad however we will do everything within our powers to stop further destruction and pollution there is no creek that anybody will pass in the region that i will not understand or the people working with me will not know for now we do not have any problem our major problem is that the aquatic life of the people is gone and we are doing everything together with traditional ruler security agencies department of state services ess and others to ensure that we reduce it to the barest minimum so that our people can survive admitting that pipeline surveillance is stressful he said there was no problem with the communities and that he is optimistic that oil bunkers will yield to his appeal to stop oil bunkering in his word he said before this time i have been discussing with the oil bunkers whether from rivers or bayels are all over the place if even many of them actually understand that oil bunkering is not good for our environment and that is the more reason we think there will not be much problem for us to stop it but their complaint is that there are no other means of survival. On the scarcity of kerosene, he said, we are going to appeal to federal government and NNPCL to see what they can do Excuse me about the local refinery, but you cannot fight illegality with illegality. Really, really interesting. I'll just give you a chance to you know, watch some of this video and get to hear exactly because they have gone to different points where they pointed out you know those um tapping points where these guys however they do it we do not know but one question still lies in our mind now that these tapping points 58 of them have been discovered what will be the swift action of the federal government towards it that's the most important right now and how well would they be able to trace it to those major bunkers who are behind all of this thing Another big question that is facing the federal government right now. But first of all, let's just watch. Within this TV, I have three deployment of GSF. One officer, 30 men, two gumboots, for which we, we will take care of for this line. Okay. Apart from that, I have Escravos flow, I have Otomara flow, I have Sagara, I have deployment of GSF too. Okay. Three. What you are saying is yes. that you are private contractors, yes, civilian contractors are, must be aware of this. The GSS around here, should have known about it, it yes shell supervisors should know about it that's the point you're making that if if it's if it's being informed no, no, no. It, it's, not, yes. it's not conditional it's, yeah. it's, a, it's, it's a responsibility no, no. what is possible in achieving this no i would not know because they are illegally no, no. this is what the team has come to verify oil is stolen